Hey, here's a quick review of the Rogue EB1 truck camper that I just recently got with the idea of working from the truck because I'm working remotely. Uh, first thing I did was get an old truck um, and put in the tie downs. So those are Happy Jack tie downs there. One goes to the frame. Here's an extra battery. The Rogue EB1 and EB2 have uh, inputs for an extra battery. So I just put chucked in a cheap 100 uh, watt hour battery battery there excuse me 100 amp hour the only other mod i really did with the truck was just put in some helper springs to help it going down the road it's actually surprisingly good it's the v6 so not very fast but i'm well within gross thanks to the light weight and uh yeah works pretty well did have a generator it has a 12 volt out just in case i need to charge the batteries good ski storage right there um, the cool thing about having an eight foot bed, it does look a little weird when it's closed, but it's actually super nice cause I can use it as like our front porch. So I'll just stick my, you know, shoes there. Um, super easy to kick them off so I don't get dirt in the camper. Um, right now just climbing up to check out the second mod was, a cheaper solar panel off eBay to provide a second solar hookup. So I just did some Y cables, Y splices into the, uh, main solar power and it's just, I didn't have to cut anything, didn't have to drill anything, um, which is pretty cool. So we'll see how that works, but really helps with the power output. Looking down to the left side, again, more storage. You could put in a um, gray water system here with a pipe DIY. I just have it for ski storage and other storage. So yeah, coming in here, it's surprisingly nice. It's a really nice space with the top up. Um, I've slept in it with top down too, just, um, to be a little bit more stealthy and keep things warmer because it is winter. So I do keep the water internal. It doesn't freeze there and that way it won't freeze the system. It does, the Rogue does have an eight gallon tank internal. So yeah, here's the, the big mod was hanging a monitor mount from the ceiling. This was about 60 bucks and it works surprisingly well. The cool thing is when the Rogue tilts up and down, when you put it up and down that, that angle changes, but this is hinged. So it remains level kind of no matter what, and I can adjust the height so I can use it when the truck camper's closed, use it when it's like this, when it's open. Um, so yeah, able to mount a nice big monitor and it has, it's reasonably ergonomic. Um, other cool thing is I can actually make it a stand-up desk. So if I raise the monitor, I can have conferences with folks um, while standing, which is super nice uh, to switch up from sitting um, and surprisingly ergonomic, go figure. Um, yeah, so you can see right here the adjustment. Because I'm taking it in and out, I just hand tighten these bolts because it's it's not like it's up on a ceiling forever. It's I can put it at the end of the bed if I need to. We're on shore power here, um, so you can see that. And then also just showing you the extra kick of that extra solar panel. Usually it used to be like four, four amps out with good sun. Now it's around eight, which is nice. Here's the uh, inverter. Um, which works surprisingly well. <laughs> um, you know, I just use it for the computer monitor because um, that's the only thing I have that'll purely run on AC. And then to power my laptop, it's actually kind of cool. There's a Nectech 12 volt, 45 watt adapter here, which the computer running full steam will drain that. So it's, it's not perfect, but I can use another USB-C or a battery to supplement if I'm really honking on juice. But for most things, it's plenty good. So yeah, looking up here, um, you know, the shelf has proved pretty useful. Things haven't tumbled off that much. Have a nice, used our dual sleeping bag in there, which gives a lot of room. Um, yeah, super light and airy. Uh, condensation hasn't been too much of an issue, but I definitely need to wipe it down each morning, especially we've had frost. Um, and when it melts, I just go around with a towel and wipe it off the skylight and wipe it off the front. So yeah, hope it's been useful. It's been a super awesome camper. Um, really excited to use it more. Way more economical than a uh, <laughs> than a van. Um, all in, significantly under what I would have paid for a van in ready to go condition. Um, so yeah, hope more fo more folks uh, use it. And uh, customer support has been pretty good from. Um, Palomino. I did have the rear jacks fail on me on our first time out, but then it all uh, was able to get two new ones in a week and they bolted right in. And so kudos. Yeah. Kudos to uh, Palomino for supporting these. And uh, it's been pretty awesome. The Thule box has worked well. The Badlands package has worked well. The heaters worked well. So 
you know, overall, the first few weeks, pretty positive. So, yeah, that's it. The Rogue EB1. Woohoo.